That was one of the lessons in my life I had to learn. And that's how you turn the poison into medicine. And you free yourself from the story, my story. It's not difficult. You can do it. You just have to decide to do it and actually do it. Every day, every circumstance you come across, you, after the fume is gone, a couple of days go by, you look back at it, learn the lesson you needed to learn and refuse to be a victim and move on. And you will see how your life will transform because you free yourself from this web, this vicious web. Anybody has any questions? We have about seven, eight minutes left. If you do, you can wave at me. Again, those of you who are with me on Facebook or Instagram, I can't really answer your questions because uh, it's too much for me to deal with a bunch of different uh, phones and computers uh, screens. So I just basically, if you're part of the Academy, 5D Academy, um, which you can join in, we're broadcasting every week on Wednesdays, and you're welcome to uh, join us through my website, zaratustra.tv, and uh, then I can communicate with you directly. You can, look, you can see me, I can see you, and you can write to me or ask me questions. I think Anita Hafiz has a question. She had her hand up. Yes. Okay, do you, do you have her uh, uh, unmuted? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, hi, hi. Um, Go ahead. Yes, I have a question. Uh, I understand very well. We should learn from the bad situation in our lives and we make the poison uh, um, to the to the medicine yeah but what i'm thinking i have been thinking all the time is uh, uh we had situations in the past in the childhood and we got a psychological problem with that and this is going through five decades in our years uh, and we are suffering from this uh, you understand what i mean how can we uh, uh, cope with that uh, tell me the last part of it. I didn't. I didn't quite understand. So, so what I mean is, uh, um, we have in the uh, we have problems in our childhood from the parents, for example. Yes, and of course we learn something from these situations and we turn the uh, uh, poison to the medicine. But what we will do? What can we do if we have mental problems from this behavior from before, from this suffering, and still? Yeah. After five decades, still you have these problems you're carrying with you. What can I do with that? Well, obviously that we're going to be shaped, uh, all of us, in a different way. Uh, we're going to be shaped from the experiences and events that happen in our lives from childhood. We all have already shaped in a certain way. And we all have our own story. So once you're shaped in this way, it's like a tree is growing and you have tied the tree in a certain way that as it's growing, it's bending to the right or yeah. in a certain way. Now it's grown and 30 years have gone by. Now you can't push the tree to be straight. So that's over. So there's yeah. nothing you can do about that. Okay. Yeah. Right. But what you just saying right now your your awareness mechanism has already kicked in that means you are aware of those psychological patterns okay. if you weren't aware of it you wouldn't be able to tell me about it right now wow. that means you can see it right okay there's an awareness you are aware that in your childhood something happened psychologically 
and created some damage. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just using easy terms. Uh -huh. For sim for simplicity of the conversation. So you say you're aware something happened in your childhood. Your parents did something which all of us have gone through it. You're not the only one. Okay. No, no, yeah. No. Yeah. All of us gone through things because our parents, they didn't go to a Buddhist school or school of meditation. No. <laughs> they and, didn't, no. <laughs> and they yeah. were unconscious <laughs> and they did some, and their, our, our, their parents were unconscious too. And they came from this very rigid or whatever, yeah. whether it was a, Islamic background or Irish Catholic or Roman Catholic or Jewish conditioning or whatever it was and whatever conditioning uh, screwed up things happened to them to, uh, then they transferred it to you mm -hmm. and it to you based on whatever they learned because nobody goes to this parental school of to be how to be parents we don't have that yet, unfortunately. But so that there's nothing you can do about it, but you're not the only one. Mm -hmm. Now, but your question is very valid of what do I do? Well, awareness. You are aware of some kind of psychological disorder, right? You're aware of it. Can, can you... Is, are you, let me see if you're unmuted. Yeah, you're unmuted. I, I, I can hear you. I can understand also very right. well. Mm -hmm. Right. So I just want to make sure we're on the same page together. Uh -huh. You are aware of some damage that happened to you psychologically in childhood. Uh -huh. So yeah. but the awareness, there is the awareness. The awareness is aware of this thing that has happened. Uh -huh. But the awareness did not get screwed up. The awareness did not get affected. Uh -huh. There is awareness, aware of these things happen. But there is also awareness of seeing that you've grown and you have matured and you have come to your full, full spiritual maturity. Uh -huh. and this awareness is still aware of that too. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh-huh. Right. Now, rather than having your attention on the story of psychologically I got damaged in childhood, yeah. now shift your attention. Bring your attention from this uh -huh. to here. Bring your attention on the awareness. Uh-huh. There is a commonality here. Something never changed. Uh -huh. There's okay. a mechanism. There's something. There's an element. There's an intelligence here uh -huh. that is aware of something wrong happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now, 30 years after, you are looking at it and you're aware of something happened. But this power of awareness is not, is not changed. The power of awareness remains the same. Oh, wow. So even though what happened has shaped you to become who you are today, oh. affected you, oh. but it never took away your power of being aware. It's true, but it's so painful. Yeah. It's so pain, painful, it's very painful. So right now, are you experiencing the pain? Right now, not, but uh, maybe the rest of the day or... Okay, you know what I mean? all right. Okay, mm. so, so when the rest of the day, when the pain comes, how does it come in what form? 